Deutsch. Hey guys, I'm Jason with uh, Myrtle Beach Campers Inn, and today we're showing you the Puma 28 BHSS. It's a bunkhouse with super slide. As uh, you notice coming around this, this is a nice big camper, um, close to 37 feet long. But this camper also comes in weighing under 7,500 pounds. So there's a good chance you can tow this with a uh, majority of trucks. Uh, a 1,500, something very basic, simple, nothing too huge. Uh, a couple nice features about this, you do have some under storage here, as well as the back side of the camper. But also looking right here, each, each one of these power jacks, stabilizing jacks, are independently controlled. So you have this here, the other side, as well as two on the back. It's a very nice feature to be able to uh, get stabilizing, get leveling. As you can see, we also have two entrance doors have a nice big awning that goes across pretty much the length of this camper. And then while you're out here enjoying your time with family, friends, couple great features. You have the outlet with a uh, cable for TV. You have LED lights up under the awning, as well as speakers for uh, your outside radio. Uh, we also have a uh, water connection right here. And then coming around, you can see the nice stable stairs we have into the entrance but before we get into the entrance we also want to notice this kitchen this is a nice kitchen for a camper like this you, you have the griddle the mini fridge but also have an added sink and an extra little drawer right here um, and then uh, right before we go in a couple things that i'll add to you is on the back you have a nice four inch bumper to be able to stow away your sewer hose you have a spare tire mounted on back uh, the ladder to go up top as well as the camera prep up on back. Join me as we go inside. All right guys, now we're inside this uh, Puma and uh, as we're looking around, we see some great features, room for the family, right? Um, starting off here in the kitchen, we've got the nice refrigerator. Sometimes people ask, hey, how big are these? The, the big thing about them is they're actually really deep. I can stick my hand in and it goes up past my elbow. So you have nice deep fridge and freezer. We've got the three burner stove and then uh, oven. The nice thing, these light up coming around them. I'll show you, let you see inside. This is actually a pretty good size oven. Sometimes they're a little bit small, but no, not on this one. You potentially cook a chicken or turkey inside of that. But anyway, you've got your microwave countertop space the sink with the pull-out uh, faucet. Another nice thing, you can cut vegetables right here, and if you need to clean anything off, it can all be done. This fits perfectly inside of here. Uh, as you're looking around, another great feature that we have, wonderfully big pantry. Just get away, get your groceries, and enjoy some vacation time, right? Coming around, we're looking at the recliners, two seat recliners. This is a nice couch, nice material now. People have been asking, hey, I've got an old camper and it's, it's been peeling, it's been fading. A lot of that's going away, materials are changing and uh, this is better for, um, that, for lack of peeling, if you wanna say, that it won't peel, but also for stains. It cleans up very nicely. Uh, so you should definitely check some of these campers out, feel these materials, it makes a difference. You have overhead cabinetry, and then coming around, you have this nice big family dinette. There is also an outlet underneath, so if you need to do some work, set up a computer or something, that can be done, as well as this tabletop will lower so that you can sleep uh, more kids, more people. You put the back cushions on top, and uh, have a nice big area for sleeping. That's actually large enough that I could lay flat and I'm about 5'10". So that's very nice to see. And then as you come around here, uh, you're gonna see uh, we have the bunk room here. And as you can see, we've got two single bunks to my right side, a single bunk to my back. Each one of these, as I'm standing here looking, does have a USB port with them so that you can plug in your electronics. 
And then a feature I like is this couch for a couple reasons. One, it is a jackknife that lays out to a bed, but two, this is a great spot for the kids to sit and hang out because a TV would mount on this wall across from me and they can sit and watch TV. They can uh, play you know, the different uh, gaming systems, whatever it may be. But this is just a great little area for hangout. You can get, what, probably five people sleeping in here if you really needed it. And uh, of course, we still have a couple cabinets in here to get some of their clothes stored for vacation. But hey, how much the kids really need, right? So hey, let's join me up as we go to the front. As you're coming in, you're looking in our second entrance here and you see our uh, bathroom. It's a nice bathroom, spacious enough to have this nice big corner shower. This is actually um, a nice size, it's tall. Um, I could get in this and still have inches above me. Plenty, plenty of space. I get my hand above me have plenty of space. You have the outlet here. This is, is GFI protected for the hair dryers and curlers and things like that. Um, so this is this is a nice bathroom. Uh, have some your mirror, some storage, a couple hooks, places to hang robes, towels, and uh, things like that. And now we will head over to the main bedroom. And guys, here we are in the main bedroom. We've got a queen size bed and. Uh, some of these can be a king as well. You've got nice side tables with outlets for if you need to hook up your devices, CPAP machines, etc. cetera. Um, you've got the USB ports, a couple side um, closets to hang clothes. Uh, some may call it the his and her. I tend to think it's more the her and her closets. Um, you have upper storage. Maybe that's where he's able to put a few of his items, right? And then of course, uh, underneath we have storage here as well. Uh, nice to be able to have this, get some of those extra things in on your camping trip. So you have that and uh, nice ventilation if you like the windows open at night, cross windows, a couple lights above your bed and then of course on this back wall I have a mount for a TV. Um, so this is pretty much taking care of what we have here with this Puma 32. Guys, thank you for joining me here at Myrtle Beach as we looked at the uh, Palomino Puma 28BHSS. Uh, we'd love to have you stop by our Campers Inn store here in Myrtle Beach, see this and many other products that we have. Uh, many other Pumas, other models, other floor plans and layouts. Hopefully we have something that works best for you. I'd love to see you. My name's Jason and I hope to see you soon.